Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 4th through January 10th. We're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you, and the timing is still fluid. So, what do we have for Pisces? One card for an overall energy, please. Strength, courage, confidence, willpower, determination. You must find the strength within you, okay, to do whatever it is that you want to do, all right? It's going to take courage. There's something that you need to do that is going to take courage, okay? You're going to need to be brave this week by the looks of things because this is a card of bravery, courage, strength, and determination, so that is going to be a week of you needing to find the strength within you to overcome some sort of obstacle. And it could be fear, because that is letting go of fear. The strength card is about letting go of fear. So there's, there's some sort of fear inside of you, okay? That you need to, that you need to let go of. You take marriage. This may have something to do with marriage. Woman. Dealings or a relationship with a woman. So you're going to be dealing with a woman this week. May have something to do with marriage. So that is going to be one of the focuses. In marriage, it's, you know, it's a commitment. It's a commitment to something, okay? Uh, may have something to do with a marriage you're already in. Okay, there could be another woman. You could be committed to something. There's another woman. Um, hmm. Doesn't have to be, though. What do we have for Pisces? Three of Swords reversed. Now, this is about forgiveness. Three of Swords reversed is forgiveness. Forgiveness is needed. Okay, this is releasing pain, healing, healing. It's on the path to recovery. It's time to heal from the pain. It's time to leave the past hurts behind. It's going to take confidence and willpower and determination and forgiveness to leave those past hurts behind. You're dealing with an empress. So this, this is... Uh, very beautiful person. This is unconditional love. This is somebody that uh, is full of love, abundant, wealthy, rich. And I'm not, I'm not just saying rich with money. I'm saying rich with love. Okay. Uh, we have unconditional love here. The Empress is a motherly type of individual who does everything with love. This is somebody that is very tender, beautiful. Uh, kind, generous, that has a lot of love to offer, that knows her value and her worth, and has multiple options. The Empress that knows her worth has multiple options. Everybody wants her. This is, this is somebody that is very sensual, very sexual, very beautiful, and demonstrates love. This is also a new life. So there's an opportunity for a new life here that includes unconditional love with a very beautiful individual. Seven of Pentacles reverse. So there's this is uh, typically something not growing. You know, dissatisfied, unrealistic. Somebody didn't put in effort. They didn't put in effort to this loving individual. This is not putting in effort. They didn't make it grow. They didn't nurture it. So it didn't grow. But it probably grew anyway. So I'm not sure if somebody didn't put in effort. But the Empress is, is doesn't need anybody. The Empress can, you know, create a new life by herself, right? Not really. I mean, she can, but she, she can. This empress is looking at something that is unrealistic. She's looking at something that isn't growing. 
and she is very dissatisfied. She may be leaving the past hurts behind. It's going to take a lot of strength and courage and confidence to do so. It's not going to be easy, but this empress, whether it's you or another woman, this woman is strong and she has faced pain and she has a lot of life experience behind her back and she knows that she is beautiful and she knows that she has multiple options. This is leaving the past hurts behind. It is. There's no growth here. Things aren't happening. Nobody's putting in any effort. Or this, at least somebody in your reading isn't putting in any effort. Wheel, this is a horrendous loss. This is a horrendous loss with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. This is a missed opportunity. This is a fall from grace. This is this is something, you know, a past mistake coming back to haunt you. And it's because of negative, repetitive patterns. So there is going to be some sort of loss here with the wheel of fortune reversed because somebody's clinging to control. This is this is the wheel of fate trying to spin you. It's, but you're you're stuck. You got that. You get your foot in the wheel. So this is this is a horrendous loss, something of something very, very fortunate that was probably meant to be. Because this is destiny. It's in reversed. It was meant to be. Eight of Goodbye. Eight of Cups. See ya. Eight of Cups is the goodbye. Adios. I'm leaving. Have a good life. And there's a new exciting opportunity for this person is that is leaving. This is a new exciting opportunity, taking a new ad a direction. This is somebody that is finding their courage. They are. Somebody is finding their courage to turn their back on something that is not growing. And it's because they know their value. It's because they know their worth. So this is the week. This it is. Okay. This is the week that somebody says goodbye. Page of Wands, that is news arriving. This is taking a new direction. It's a new discovery. It's traveling. Somebody's, somebody, something is coming to fruition. Somebody's taking a new approach by leaving an emotionally disappointing situation behind. This is the courage to do so. So there is somebody that is finding the courage to do so. This is a, somebody that has discovered, they have discovered that, you know, there's wish fulfillment over here. I know that there is. This is a new vision. You know, get they, somebody gets this vision, they just go for it. They just do it. This is somebody that is fearless that is gutsy, that is taking action. So action is being taken this week. Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Could be dealing with a air, uh, fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Taurus, Libra over here. Um, this is about commitment. It is about marriage. It is about listening this is a teacher this is guidance being guided somebody is being guided their gut is telling them something that it's time to go somebody's gut is telling them that it's time to go listen the hair font is about listening okay i know who the hair font is because i'm a taurus and i've investigated that card so that is listen are you listening are you listening are you listening to your gut it's time this is it's time to go Somebody's listening to their gut. We got at least one person here that is listening to their gut and they are leaving. 
So somebody is, is basically taking the high road. They're turning their back. They've been guided to do so. This is a horrendous loss. There's stagnation. Nothing is changing. This is very unfortunate. But this is saying goodbye to the past hurts, leaving the past hurts behind. If you are the woman watching this, whether you're the cross watcher or whatever, we got this person that is headed right towards you. So if you, I say, I say you're a man and you're watching this, you're a man and you're watching this and you're dealing with an empress that you have not invested in. You've not invested in this empress, right? You're just not giving it any effort. You're not putting in any effort. Maybe you don't want to get married, whatever. Maybe you're already married. Something to do with a marriage. Because we have marriage here and marriage here. Something to do with a commitment. You know, you are you are hurting. You can't forgive. Whatever the case is, you know. There's somebody headed right towards this woman. If you are the woman watching this. And you know your value and you know your worth and you are, you know, you have a lot of unconditional love to give. And you are leaving the past hurts behind. You have somebody headed right towards you. Right towards you. We, I feel as though we also, um, we, well, we have a man headed towards a woman, put it that way. Or a masculine. I, this is a masculine. I know that it is. My gut tells me that it is. It's my gut right here. So we have a masculine headed right towards a feminine. And this is very feminine. We do. So that is going and this is this is a new a new suitor, somebody that is very well suited that is headed right towards this woman. It may not even be the right time. It could be bad timing, you know, it may be bad timing, you know. We may have a, a woman that has just said goodbye. She's not looking for anything. You know, she's healing. And boom, because this is a card of healing. Strength card is. She's healing from the past hurts. And here it is. All of a sudden. So there could be a sudden arrival here for a woman that knows her value. And is probably a little disturbed over somebody that didn't invest has been in a lot of pain, but has done a lot of healing already and is ready to leave the past hurts behind. Yes, it's an unfortunate loss, but it's time to say goodbye. Five of Cups is going to be grieving over this loss. There is. This is grieving, sadness, crying, mourning, and this is a horrendous loss, and this is a loss as well. A loss of a very beautiful, somebody is going to be mourning over a loss. The heartbroken. There's a need to have courage. There's a need to find your strength to take action or to go in the direction that you are being told to go. This is your gut being guided to go. Somebody is being guided to go in a new direction, but there's not. They're stalled. They're stuck. They got their foot in the wheel. You know, they're stopping destiny. Therefore, this is a goodbye. So somebody is definitely saying goodbye. It's definitely spur of the moment. It's very sudden. This is like a sudden goodbye. Unpredictable. It is unpredictable. So I think there's an unpredictable uh, goodbye here. There's a higher power involved as well with the Harrow font. That is a very, this is somebody that has a direct connection to God. So there is there is there is some sort of direct connection to a higher power here. There's guidance. Guided in a new direction. But this is very this time to leave the past hurts behind. Stop crying, stop moping. 
It's not easy though, is it? We have somebody here that is so focused on what hurt them rather than realizing that there is still an opportunity. There is still an opportunity for love, okay? But if you're so focused on what hurt you, you miss the opportunity for love. And it's unconditional love with the Empress. So yeah, there's an opportunity for love here, absolutely. And abundance and wealth. The Empress does everything with love and she's and she's abundant, okay? She has she's not lacking for anything. She delivers. She delivers on everything. Hangman reverse. Stuck. Stuck. You're so stuck. Thinking about it, 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 thinking about it. I mean, the hangman reverse is refusing to go in and struggling to let go of something that you, of some sort of obsession, the need to prove a point. So we got somebody here that is so stuck on proving, proving a point that they are going to have a horrendous loss. And they are missing an opportunity. We have somebody here that is, that's the hangman reverse. Feel free to look it up. Somebody is missing an opportunity with a very beautiful individual. This beautiful individual is about to have give birth to a new life. There's a new suitor here for this beautiful individual. This new suitor comes quick. Quick. I'm positive. The tower reversed. You never saw it coming. This is a painful change. Moving. Somebody may be moving. There could be, this is a loss, a permanent loss. It's a permanent loss. Because somebody has been avoiding. They've been avoiding challenge. They've been avoiding building a strong foundation. They didn't build a strong foundation when they should have. Now the tower reverse is extremes. There could be some extreme health problems. There could be a huge fight. Whatever this is, there is you can't avoid it anymore. You cannot avoid what is coming. You can't avoid the feelings that you are feeling. You can't avoid the chaos. You can't avoid the life change that is about to happen. There is a major life change that is about to happen that is going to cause you internal disruption. Somebody has been hanging on to a false sense of security that isn't stable, that isn't solid, that isn't secure, and it's about to crash. It is going to crash. This is an unavoidable change that is coming. You cannot avoid it. This is something very sudden. A sudden, I don't know. Breakdown of some sort. So anyway, Pisces, I feel like this week is going to be a week of feeling, I feel like it's shocked. You may be in shock that something is happening.
One more card. That's it. One more card. One more card. This is a painful change. That lead, that's, it's a permanent loss. It is a, per, it is a permanent. I don't care what anybody says. It's a permanent loss. Unfortunately. Oh, God. Four of Swords. This is, you know, I often say, Four of Swords is the death of a person or idea. Judgment. Judgment is about the truth being revealed. Karma. This is the end of things. Judgment is also a card of forgiveness. This is a wake-up call. For some of you, I mean, I hate to say it, but I'm going to. There could be a reconciliation because that is one of the meanings of the judgment card. There could be a reconciliation. There could be a renewal. There could be another chance. Somebody could be reconciling with somebody that, you know, they love. Anyhow, this is about making a judgment call. Somebody is going to be making a judgment call. The truth is coming out. This is karmic. This is going to be a karmic week. This is the end of things. Good luck.